Human trafficking is a problem that affects pretty much every region in the world. Anywhere that there are people, this is something that is happening. Traffickers are finding new ways to take advantage of the internet. Advertising their traffic victims online. As someone who does research in computer security, I saw this as an opportunity. The goal of my work is to build tools to help investigators find victims of human trafficking. I'm writing code that will be able to take groups of ads and uh, say whether or not these ads are connected to each other. A trafficker posting um, advertisements about the girls that he is in charge of, he would want to disguise that information somehow so that it made the girls don't appear to be minors, that these are all independent people working separately. To that end, you have traffickers using burner phones as the contact information. You know, obviously you can switch email addresses with very little cost. Doing things like that in order to try and minimize the, the connection between these ads. The other main thrust that we had in grouping these ads together was trying to find the Bitcoin wallets that were used to pay for particular ads. If we're able to say, hey, these 50 ads that previously did not appear to be connected were actually all paid for by the same wallet, we now have a, a very strong definitive link uh, connecting these ads together. Several of the wallets that we found spent, you know, 50,000, 60,000, even up to $100,000 in just four weeks on, um, on paying for these ads. And that was um, shocking to see all, all of that money um, going in this direction. I first got introduced to the problem of human trafficking my senior year of college. My sister recommended to me a book called Half the Sky that details some of the human rights abuses against um, women across the world. I was quite inspired and I really wanted to see whether or not there was something in uh, the work that I did that could contribute to this effort. Looking through these ads can be quite difficult. There's at least several thousand new ads that appear uh, per day depending on uh, the region that it's posted. One of the hopes that I have in this work is that this will help law enforcement filter and prioritize ads, not just minimize the amount of time it takes to do an investigation, but also helping them in some of the more psychologically difficult elements of this work, specifically minimize the amount of content that they have to be looking at. There's often a misconception about technology that in some way it is the generator of some evil. I see technology as simply a tool, a tool without will. The will is the user of that technology. This kind of work can often be an arms race. Each time there's new technology developed, someone is using it for ill, and then someone else has to find a way to kind of beat that out, to use it for good. I'm really glad to be a part of it.